First of all, we are really excited to be here. I think it's good for all the stakeholders that are in, a, in the BIM process that you also see how the designers can deal with creativity and can deal with the BIM process. So I'm going to explain you how MBRDB, since the really early stage, we had the BIM dream. So we were already working in softwares, in projects that we were working with data. And well, since MBRDB was founded, MBRDB has been fascinated by the data-driven parametric design. So let's see. This is what we consider like the, the design can literally be defined by parameters, by data. So with the, with the help of Revit in our, in our case, and with the Dynamo, with the visual programming of, of Revit, we can define how will be our design without any geometry, any intuition. So we will follow all the constraints that all the stakeholders involved in the process are bringing to us. And for us, I would like to explain what means BIM for MBRDB. And we define it with four key uh, words. For us, BIM is data. So then it's a data escape model. All the parties, all the parameters are there. Energy, we can have daylight, sunlight, noise, the footprint, the fart. These are all the constraints that will define our design. For us also, BIM is collaboration. We are really dealing, willing to be collaborating with all the users, customers, consultants, clients. So we will define which will be the process of this collaboration. BIM is also for us dynamic. It's a dynamic model. The, all the elements, all the building elements are intelligently connected. And then any change will be automatically reflected in our model. And then also for us is simulation. How easy it is to have a meeting with a client, with all the parties, and really have the class detection, see how the beam of the consultant, the structural engineer, is clashing with our design. And client can just have a decision in the moment. So this is really a failure cost. And then this is the way we convince client to really solve many issues in a really early stage. So then I will start with some examples of what we consider data scheme model for, for BIM. As I say, uh, MBRDB is fascinated by this data scape. So for us, the design consists of quantifiable parameters. And then, as I say before, it's a data-driving parametric design. What we call it this data scape, the landscape that consists of data. So I will go to one of the 